Hey everybody, we're playing Remnant 2 and we're here in Ward 13. I posted a video about a special gun and Uzi that you can find almost immediately in Ward 13, which is located in this wrecked ship area. Check out my other video for that, but once you're in this room, you may notice a purple item behind the window. There's actually more than one item in this space, but we need to get in there first. We're gonna go back to the crystal to travel to the labyrinth. You unlock the labyrinth after defeating at least one world boss. After that, you'll need to run the labyrinth, beat the cube boss, and talk to the eyeball here. This eyeball will give you a biome key that you can use to access other worlds, as well as any other doorways. For example, the one we see in the room with the purple item in Ward 13. Once we have this key, we need to find the door to the room where the item in Ward 13 is located. So from this crystal in the labyrinth, the one with the giant portal in front, we're going to move to the right up the stairs and follow this path here. This area should be familiar to you, especially if you've obtained the biome portal key already. So as far as the enemies are concerned, feel free to take them out. But for the sake of time, I'm just running through them here. You're going to move to the right, essentially staying strictly to the right. Once you get to the end of this path, keeping to the right most of the time, we see a portal just ahead. We do not want to go through this portal though. Instead, cut around the portal, move close to the edge and look down. There's a hidden portal here. Be careful not to fall while you're doing this, but we're going to drop down into this portal here. It's going to launch us onto some stairs. We're going to go back up the stairs and through the next portal that we see. Again, we're just avoiding the enemies here regardless of the damage that we take. We're going to move through this portal, heal up a little bit, and then we're going to take a left. There's a doorway here to the left. We're going to go left and then left again, and we actually hit a dead end here. From this area now, from this dead end, if you look to the left, you'll notice some rocks that you can climb. So left, looking at the dead end, not looking away from it, obviously. We're gonna start climbing these rocks here and it's pretty obvious which ones you can jump to. Just be careful while you're moving through this because the higher you get, the more damage you may take if you fall. We're gonna jump to the next ledge here and then actually go through this little tunnel or underneath this this bigger rock here. This is where it gets a little tricky. We're gonna have to be very careful. Uh, I believe one of us missed this jump a couple of times. So we have to actually jump this corner here to the next ledge and duck down and move through this pathway here. So this will take us to the door that leads us to the door in Ward 13. Again, you do need that biome portal key. These are the portals for the worlds and any other doors inside the labyrinth. And this one is clearly hidden on purpose, but it will take us into this space. You should recognize it. There are a few things that you can open. There are some things that you can look at, but mostly we want that purple item, which is a Chicago typewriter gun. And the next thing you'll notice is there is a, inside one of these containers, a uh, set of armor. So we're gonna grab this armor here inside this box and it's gonna give us the full gear, head, chest, legs, gauntlets, everything. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time.